what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're here with some more slam dunk we're going in we're going in things are getting interested in this anime to say the least you know and i'm really enjoying it i'm really really enjoying it it's a funny anime lots of life lessons to learn also um so it, it's definitely it, it's not super hype yet <laughs> you get what i'm saying but i'm definitely seeing the progression you know 20 something episodes in you can definitely see where this is heading i don't know yet if i'll continue in the manga but i'm probably i probably will continue in the manga just like what i'm doing with ippo um once we're finished with the anime because you guys said you know what i'm saying like it has it, it, it's a way better ending i guess i don't remember exactly what you guys said but it's it's like a way better ending of some our sword or it's way better in the in the manga the way how it continued and and ended right so i'm definitely looking forward to doing that later on once we're finished with these i think it's 101 episodes or something like that but we're we're slowly getting there we're getting there but we will soon get there I'm trying to get the schedule. I'm trying to get the schedule of the channel like consistently. It, it it's going to take a little bit. So just be patient as I work this schedule into my already set schedule and working around everything to see, make sure everything works and everything is in order. Um, you know, I am planning to do this consistently. Um, but every now and then I might take a break like take a week's break and then hit you back The week after that or something of the sort just to give myself a break because this is even though this might seem like You know, it's a lot. It's a lot <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm complaining. I'm just letting you know that it, it is a lot You know what I'm saying? I, I it's manageable, but it's still a lot. You know what I'm saying? So definitely letting you guys know that but in any case guys let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review i'm definitely interested in these new characters that they're introducing i want to see what is going to happen here with this biker gang that came in the dude that got his front teeth knocked out hey man <laughs> it's funny stuff you know um somebody also commented the other day on the last reaction telling me about biker gangs back in those days in japan was basically a part of school culture and um of it's kind of like a lot of biker gangs were affiliated with the yakuza and stuff like that um so that was a really interesting take to let me know you know what i'm saying like see stuff like that i appreciate when people comment stuff like that because it really puts things in a different kind of perspective for for me personally because a lot of times when i'm looking at it i'm comparing it to you know what i've been through when i was in high school you know what i'm saying and the culture that we lived around during high school yeah adults would come around our school and whatever the situation is you know what i'm saying i never really liked the idea of you know grown-ass men coming looking at you know what i'm saying high school girls like i never you know it, it, it because of the culture that we grew up in it never really bothered anyone but it really bothered me because i was like okay this is the reason why we can't get we can't get no girls or whatever the situation is um but apparently that wasn't it. I was just, <laughs> I was just terrible at approaching girls. So, I, I mean, back then. So, it wasn't that was the issue. So, it's a different kind of culture. But anyways, let's get to the reaction. I will see you guys for the review. Alright, so that was episode, what, 20, 24, 25, I think, yeah, 24 and 25, wow, I would have to say those are two of the best episodes of the series so far, 
And I'm not saying that lightly. I say that because I think this is the first time that I actually truly see, try, truly, truly see the potential of this anime and where it is going and where the hype around it is and of it being more than just about basketball. You know what I'm saying? And I love when a show does that, you know, I'm supposed to compare it with, you know, Ippo that I've watched and Haikyuu that I'm watching right now. It's, it reminds me a lot of early Haikyuu where uh, even now Haikyuu still does it. But at the same time, it's like for me, these two episodes really shine above the rest, um, you know, of showcasing certain aspects of, you know, Akagi coming in and realizing off the bat what is going on without no hesitation tried to guard the basketball team because he knows that if that teacher comes in all bets are off they getting canceled you know so he immediately protects them and then they went on to drop the bombshell off Mitsui was a genius basketball player what happened has not yet been revealed even though i predict that you know maybe is you know it, people who are like that they usually have very fragile egos whereas in if somebody shows more potential than them they feel like they feel kind of useless you know what i'm saying if somebody gets better than them or some they're not the star the light is not shining on them their ego can can really go under the radar like and their, their pride gets shattered to the point where they just don't want to associate with those people anymore. So that's what I'm predicting that will happen, but I don't know what happened. I still want to know what happened, what caused him to stop playing basketball and just, I don't know if he hates basketball or he just hates the guys that play basketball. How do you fall into a gang life? Kinda, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How did that happen? So I think exploring those things are really what I'm, what I really loved about these two episodes that happened. Um, so that was, it, it was great, man. It was really two episodes that you really had to, that re it was funny in some ways. We all know that Hanamichi, we, we know he can fight. Like that's not a mystery to us. We know he has this natural ability of fighting plus he's like 6'3 dude like you know what I'm saying that guy that was hitting him and he's like oh a mosquito <laughs> you know that was funny um but other than that things kind of progressed in a way where you know what I'm saying the storytelling really came out for these two episodes that I really see um not through action as in action scenes but in some ways episode 20, 24 i felt like i was watching a different show you know what i'm saying i felt like they, they had some of those um some of those scenes from yu yu haka show not scenes i mean ost from you from yu yu haka show i'm pretty sure that ost is in yu yu haka show too if i'm not mistaken that one that plays during fight scenes early yu yu haka show used to have this scene where it's like that like, i remember that it's like a trope in older animes i don't know i, I don't want to say it's a trope but it's a sound that shows in older animes that is like they couldn't find any other soundtracks to play or something because i guess not a lot of people was making original soundtracks for like animes and stuff like that back then so they didn't really have a, a variety nowadays you have different stuff for the, even if it's the same composer it's just like how in early haiku it was it was um you could see that the influence of a certain composer was influenced in it from my my hero academia because i don't know which one of them came out first I don't know which one, but you can, the, the similarities of the sounds was very similar. And I think in season one, when I started Haikyuu, I was like, it sounds a lot like a lot of the OSTs sound a lot like My Hero Academia, 
but it it's different but it's but you can hear certain sounds and when it comes on to people who compose music or create music you're always going to have similarities even even though it's for maybe a different project different beat different artist you're going to have those similarities because everybody in every work that we do you have tendencies right so when you have tendencies what happens is that certain sounds that you like and what you hear that's what you're going to put into the music that you create so for me that was incredibly well done those scenes those fighting scenes it's not an action fighting you know what i'm saying anime but they did those scenes very well the tension was high the 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 um even those guys that kind of that that was kind of like sitting there watching you could feel it. you felt like you were in the room you know seeing what was going down and being afraid of if the the teacher was going to get in and see this and they were going to get disqualified because this is akagi's final year for him to get to nationals so if if that gets screwed up you know i don't know if he wants to go play professionally I don't know if they have college basketball in Japan. I don't know how it works. Um, so it, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. But they definitely, they captured the essence of that scene very well. And as I said, two of my favorite episodes of the season so far, um, of the series so far. But anyways, guys, that was incredibly done. Um, I'm definitely, um, with these two episodes really showed me why you guys wanted me specifically to react to this anime not, not just because it's sports but there's a great story behind it so let's jump in i will see you guys for the next two obviously those two are going to be on early access so make sure if you have not signed up for early access yet make sure you go and check that out if you want or you can wait until next week for the next two to drop all right so thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys and Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys next time for some more Slam Dunk. Peace.